Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and today we're going to be talking about pruning and shaping a fruit tree. And next to me here on my left is a Manzanillo olive tree. It's a fruit-bearing olive tree. Um, it's its fourth year um, that I've had it, and it was originally in a pot growing about 15 to 20 feet tall. As you can see here, if you want to zoom in, um, right near the top, right over here, I actually had it pruned um, in late winter. Um, I this plant, again, was about 15 to 20 feet taller from this point up. And the reason that I pruned it was because I wanted all of these side branches, which were near the bottom, and they were near death until I actually pruned the top. My goal was I wanted to actually have a bush, um, a bush growing um, olive tree. I wanted to actually have two to three main primary branches coming off of this tree and growing in three different zones. Um, I've been watching this tree for the last few weeks. I've been wanting to prune it, but I wanted to do a video so I can share with you um, how to actually prune and take care of this tree. If you also come in a little closer and before I start working, you'll actually notice that the bark of this olive tree is a little bit lighter than, um, than the other parts of the branches that are, have not been coated. Um, and I've actually coated it with a product, um, if you keep the camera on the tree here, I actually coated it with a product called Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And it's basically a, a natural organic paint um, that also has um, oils that help repel insects, help repel rodents from gnawing on it. Um, it just basically gives the tree a better chance, um, you know, at, a better, at, at being healthier. So the first thing we're going to do here, so you saw that we, um, we pruned the top, the primary branch that was growing off of it. I've now encouraged growth to come from beneath it and below it so I can now get more branches, which we now have. And now the goal is to select the branches that we want. Um, um, basically stake them in the direction we want them to grow and then remove all the other branches and so all the energy is concentrated in those branches and my goal right now is to focus on about three to four branches so by the time we're done with this video it's going to look very thin um, and then we're going to watch over the growing season how this improves again I pruned this last in about um, February knowing that in March the plant was going to start growing um, there's different advantages for pruning at different times of the year so I'm not saying um, that it's the only time to prune your olive tree or other fruit trees um, I'll talk about other videos about pruning and when to prune what, but for this specific purpose, I wanted to prune it right before the primary growing season, which was for me, February here in Los Angeles, California. The first step we're going to do here is select which branch to keep and which one's going to go out. As you can see here, um, we have this branch, which is heading um, in this direction towards um, the front of my property. We have this one here going off to the side. I now have a couple new buds that are coming off of the, um, the tree trunk over here. Um, we've got this side branch, we've got these branches down below that are growing actually down into the soil over here. So these actually need to be either pruned or, or supported. And then we've got these, this branch over here which I just started supporting just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and then another sucker that's coming off of that branch down here. Um, so the first thing to do is to decide how we're going to um, shape this tree. The first thing I'm going to do, and these are the materials that I brought with me. So here are my, um, my hand pruners. I've got some twine to basically support it to these stakes, some scissors to cut the, um, the string. I brought this metal stake to demonstrate that um, sometimes when you buy your fruit trees, it comes with these metal stakes. I highly discourage the use of metal stakes as they do absorb a lot of heat. It can actually damage the plant tissue that these are staked next to. So do not use metal. Um, I prefer using either a wood or if you're going to use a metal stake, these are two um, cosmetically you know, appealing choices as well. They're metal stakes and they're covered in a, a, a plastic um, vinyl cover so it doesn't actually um, absorb heat the same way as a metal stake would. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is decide which branches we're, we're going to keep. So um, over here I've got a branch that's actually heading towards me. I'm actually going to remove this branch out. I've got this branch over here, which is the second branch that's going down, you can see these branches are falling into the soil. I can have a choice of actually supporting it, but my goal is I see this one here is going to be a primary leader for that particular branch. So I'm actually going to prune it right behind it, and I'm removing this branch. And this will actually be then staked and supported away from this primary tree and, and, and directed in the direction we want it to. And the third one over here, this third branch has a sucker that's coming off of it over here. We're gonna remove that sucker. That's gonna come out. And we're gonna thin it as well, as these branches are actually going back into the primary tree and we want these branches to grow away and towards the front of the tree. 
this branch over here, same thing. I'm gonna actually keep this branch over here. I'm gonna remove these bottom branches out. We're gonna support this up in this direction. Those two will stay over there. This one's gonna come back. And this one over here will be pulled towards the front. So now we're gonna get our stakes. So the first thing we're gonna do here is just insert the stake over here. I just watered the tree before the video so the soil is pretty soft. I was able to just push that in. Get a little piece of twine. So you'll notice when I actually support the branch, um, and again, the goal is I want this branch to be going in this direction and this these branches to go away from me. So I'm actually gonna steer this back a little bit more this way. So you can see there's a lot of flexibility. You can, you've gotta design your trees to grow in the direction you want them to, because if all the branches end up going up and into the tree, they're all gonna be competing for the same light um, and, pr and fruiting actually a lot less than if you actually pull the branches away and keep it as an open canopy. So here we just take that, we're gonna tie it back. This branch over here is in the way, so we can just cut that out. The goal is to protect this leader over here. The rest of these side branches are less important. And now we're just gonna tie that back. And here we go with that. That'll go there. Now we'll get another stake over here. We're gonna just take that down. Now the goal is to pull this branch out in this direction. Good morning. Good morning. Cut that. Tie it to the stake. Do not tie it directly to the tree. The reason you don't want to tie the knot onto the tree is you don't want to constrict the, the tree. You don't never want to put, put a knot on it as that will prevent the sugars and the waters from flowing into the tree. And now the goal is to pull this branch towards me. So we're going to wrap around it. And pull it back. Pretty much it so within the next three to six months these branches will actually become established in the, in the directions that you've um, trained them to grow um, and that'll pretty much create the shape that it's going to be in for the rest of its life so your goal is to actually create an open canopy i force this branch to grow out this way i'm going to have this branch grow off to my right we're going to have this branch growing off this way and then that branch to grow out in front um, towards you the viewers um, these little sprouts that have come off the trunk, I'm actually going to leave them for now. I may decide to have it run through the middle, um, maybe actually create a, an, another branch that's going this way. Um, so I'm actually leaving these sprouts, I'm going to decide which ones to keep and which ones to not. But as you can see, I'm in the process of creating a multi-trunked fruit tree. Um, this one here again being the Manzanilla olive tree. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative. If so, please be sure to like it. Most importantly, be sure to subscribe to watch all the rest of these Ivory Organics informative three-in-one on tree guard paint videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening. So I took the time after this um, video to actually finalize the final details to this olive tree here. Um, and you'll notice that the top of this is now missing. I wanted to make sure as I explained at the beginning of the video to have three separate zones. One that's going forward, one to my left, one to my right. And basically to have this um, three multi-trunk fruit tree and in this case, again, the Manzanilla olive tree um, growing, and this is a fruit bearing um, variety as well. So I wanted each part to be doing its part to um, produce. And in the future, I might graft them into three different varieties. So I kind of wanted to have three sections to play with, to prune with, to maintain, um, you know, and, and watch develop over the years. But what you'll see what I've done over here is I've actually taken this branch off. It was growing in this direction, as you saw at the beginning of the video, and these two branches were overlapping. And it was actually grown um, 
actually in like this direction here. Um, so it's overlapping with this um, area and this zone of, um, of the growth that we're expecting. So I took this out and then I, and then I um, basically um, secured and tied and staked this branch back. So it'll be growing again in this zone. This branch is now staked and growing in that zone. And then this branch over here is staked and growing in the forward zone. Um, now that we've actually pruned it, as you can see, we've sawed um, this branch off in this, in the, in this um, location. I've actually damaged, if you want to um, come a little closer, when I had my saw in hand, I actually um, rubbed a little bit against this bark. And then this, um, this pruning um, that I've done over here is actually going to take many years to, to heal. Um, rather than keeping it exposed, what we're going to do is put this Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard paint. And I'm just going to go here with my brush. I had it pre-mixed before the video. And I'm actually just going to seal it. And what this does is, aside from protection from sunburn and sun scald, is it's going to keep the insects out from actually boring into the, um, the wood. The living tissue is just underneath this bark. The whole center part of the um, tree is, is, you know, is, is just wood, which would be ideal for wood boring insects to actually get into it. But we're just going to seal that and, and then once a year coat it. Um, and you can see the rest of this tree was coated about six months ago. We can actually just brush a little bit more on there. Um, and it'll keep the plant nice and cool as we're now going to start going into the summer months. Um, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to visit ivoryorganics.com. Um, Again, I'm Charles Malky, your biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below so you can watch all the rest of these um, informative Ivory Organics um, videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.